guys, good morning. Welcome to today's video. It's been a while since uh, I posted a video for you guys and just kind of been laying low, recovering from the century ride that we did. And now it's getting pretty cold outside. It's, we have new gear that we're trying out today. Um, I have this Gore uh, Thermo um, jacket. Uh, Jason got a new pair of gloves that are um, that have a heating element in them. It's by Seal Skins. So it's a good time to test that out as it is, you know, the temperature is dropping. So these past few weeks, um, Jason and I have been just riding kind of easy and recovering from the uh, century ride that we did. Uh, last week, I did something a little different in our long ride. Um, I did an interval workout. So it was 10 minutes at high zone two and three minutes recovery at low zone two. Uh, and I got my average power up and I averaged 14.4 miles per hour as my speed. So I was really happy to see that. So today what we're going to do is two hours or a little bit less than two hours endurance ride. So uh, this is the workout that I was telling you about in the beginning there. Um, what I ended up doing was doing six uh, rounds of target power of 150 watts and the recovery was three minutes at low zone two. So my recovery hovered around 100 to 120 watts. And this is just kind of just want to show you guys what it looks like to do a workout when you're doing out, out when you're doing an outdoor workout. Um, it's very different from when you are doing an indoor workout where you can maintain that steady power all throughout. And so again, I will be doing three, sorry, I will be doing six intervals here and the target in the blue there uh, is 150 watts, which is my low sub threshold and the recovery is at 120 watts or so. So here, um, what you could see is that I, I forgot to mention that we did a 30, oh, actually, no, I did a 20 minute warm up prior to this. And then after the 20 minutes, I hit some downhill because I was doing a little climbing before. And so it was hard for me to maintain the 150 Watts. And you can see on the right there that my uh, power is all over the place. So now there's a downhill. And so it was hard to, to keep the power up on the downhills. And this is what you're going to end up seeing when you're riding out in the roads and you find that it might be hard for you to uh, maintain that power because of the changing terrain and, uh, and changing grade on the outdoors. So my first round, I average 137 watts. So clearly below my 150 watt target. And that's purely, as you could see, there are downhills here and it was just really hard for me to maintain that power. So here um, we ended up uh, in a more of a flatter road. We actually stopped uh, a little bit before this because I was starting to get warm. And so I had to take off my, um, my neck gaiter. So I believe I have, according to my Wahoo there, I have about a little under three minutes left in this hard effort. Again, target is 150 watts. So again, you could see that um, as the gradient changes, my power starts to fluctuate. So it's at 3% and it's natural for your power to go overshoot and it's natural for your power to undershoot. Uh, that particular target that you're doing because again the changing gradients, but it is easier to put out power when uh, there's a, a an incline um, It's a lot easier at least for me to put out that type of power and so um, I have a few minutes left on this round and my second round I wound up averaging 122 watts and again that's primarily due to a lot of the downhills that we experience uh, going into this second round all right so the third round um, i did a little better uh, job with maintaining my power so this is kind of a flat ish 
part of the road of Candlewood Lake Road and uh, there's not a whole lot of climbing and it's pure uh, a little bit of hills here and there but um, that's pretty much it and as you can see from the condition of the road uh, it, there's a lot of potholes there's a lot of um, patched work patchwork on the on the road there so that can definitely affect how you put out power i was struggling a little bit because the the there's the storm drain on the right hand side there and i was trying to avoid the storm drain but i was also trying to be careful with uh, avoiding cars that are on my left coming from behind me so this first part was a little tricky to maintain the power again but um, as i uh, continue on riding, I actually uh, was able to hit my target power. In fact, I actually overshot it. So my third round, I did 160 watts average. So here's another, another round here. Um, I am fighting a little bit of a headwind um, going in this direction. And I believe I this was at least the, uh, ooh, I'm going to try to look here fifth round i believe uh so again it was uh this part of the road as we ride further into Candlewood lake road is pretty smooth um, there are a couple of little bumps it's kind of actually pretty um, deceiving because the road looks nice and smooth but there are actually little bumps here and there and i'm not sure if they are um, repaving this road and it looks like it's pretty good condition but as we were riding it it was just a little too washboardy for for me and I really tried hard to go on the drop so all of these rounds I actually stayed on the drops because I'm starting to um, get my body used to that position and I actually have been riding indoors uh, on the bike erg on the drops and I feel like a little I feel a little bit more comfortable uh, in that position because of just um, just been riding on it for some time now. The first time I rode in the drops, it was a little awkward, but I'm definitely starting to feel um, a little more comfortable in it. And it was a lot easier for me to put out the power uh, in this position. We actually do, did an out and back. We did a couple of laps on this road. Uh, and so there was a tailwind coming back. So I was moving a lot faster the couple rounds after this. I am also working on my cadence, um, so I have to kind of think about what gear I'm in to, to, to get my cadence up. And it's kind of tricky, you know? So, and so that's why I worked with um, doing an average power overall. And I will show you guys uh, what, how I set up my, my Wahoo so that, on a workout so that you can uh, get the most out of your workout outdoors. So this is what my screen looks like on my Wahoo on the left here. Um, now you can add more metrics to what I have. Um, I believe, I'm not sure how many metrics you can actually put on there. I believe there's eight and I currently am, I currently have it under uh, six metrics that I'm looking at. So I have my target power. So I know which interval I'm in. Uh, I also have the power set to uh, to give me the five second average because it's a little bit more smoother when you do this as opposed to if you were to give if you were to show uh, or have the actual power uh, shown there. I also have heart rate and uh, that's important to managing your effort uh, and I also have the lap average so as you're in that interval uh, what five second average changes you can actually see where you are uh, in that particular interval and what power, what your average power is. And so it's really helpful to have the lap average, or I believe it's called lap watts. Uh, it's also good to have duration um, because you want to see how long you've been riding for as that way you can, uh, you know when to fuel as that's important. And the last thing I have here is the last lap average, or I believe it's last lap watts. Uh, on Wahoo. And so that just tells you what your average power was from the last interval. All right, guys, that is the end of our uh, endurance ride workout. Um, so we wound up doing uh, 33 miles with a little over 2,000 feet of climbing. And because we did the, uh, the intervals, um, 
we ended up averaging about 14 or I ended up averaging about 14.8 miles per hour with an average power of 130 so that is again the highest that I have ever uh, done in a ride and it feels really good to do that it feels really good to be able to keep up with Jason again yeah that was a fun ride I like this sort of workout format that we've been doing the last couple of weeks on our outdoor ride you know the zone two upper zone two and lower zone two intervals it makes it fun and uh it's it's been making us go faster so i today i tried out these seal skins heated gloves it has um it basically has a a battery in here that you charge up and um there's some sort of heating element throughout the glove, you know, throughout the, the fingers, and you just, you know, press it. If you press it on, you know, it's, it's at full power. You can adjust it to be uh, medium or, or low. And I wore these for maybe the first um, hour, hour and a half of the ride, and they were keeping my hands pretty warm. I, I didn't have to use, you know, I used to like stick these hot hands packs inside my gloves and I was kind of hit or miss with that sometimes it worked sometimes it, it didn't and I would still have frozen fingers but with these um, I didn't have frozen fingers and actually about you know a little over an hour into the ride my hands started sweating so uh, when we stopped to get a snack uh, I actually took them off and put on the, the regular gloves the rest of the way uh, but they did a pretty good job of keeping my uh, my fingers um, warm enough the only downside right is a little heavy because of the battery yeah i mean and bulky. You know, the battery adds a few grams i don't know how you know exactly how how much it is i thought i was going to have an issue um with control with shifting and i didn't really i mean it, it felt a little a little less freedom than you know just bare hands or wearing normal cycling gloves but uh it really wasn't too bad and uh having slight bit of uh, bulkiness in the glove is still better than having frozen fingers and not being able to feel what you're doing. So overall, I would say it was a success wearing these. I hope you guys like this video. And by the way, check out, um, I'm not sure if, when I'm going to have this other video up that talks about how I plan my routes. And if you're interested, I will have that up. If it's already up, I will post it up here so you can click to it and uh, you can just go ahead and watch that. All right, until next time, see you guys next week. Take care.